Hey friends, Jessica here from Creators Couture and I am super excited today to share with you my new series, which is Free Brush Monday. And I am gonna share with you on Mondays with everybody a free Photoshop brush and color palette. And so we are kicking this off in style and today's free brush and color palette was inspired by Taylor Swift's Grammy look from last night. So I woke up, I was super inspired when I was reading the, the coverage of the Grammys. I love this dress. So um, I'm actually gonna share with you two brushes and four color palettes inspired by this look. And then I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create a really um, gorgeous little floral monogram like you see on the right. So let's get started. Okay, so as I mentioned, um, I was super inspired by this Oscar de la Renta look. Uh, I just, I love, I love multicolors. I love things bold. And this outfit was, um, I think it's from a ready to wear collection. And here's another, another view of it from the Oscar de la Renta website. But it's very, especially you can see up against the black of that, that, um, backdrop there very mood, moody floral vibe and that has been a trend for a while and I think it's really still on trend so I love it because um it's a little more drama than just like the delicate light colors and stuff so I love that there's the burgundy deep colors in between there and so with this one I actually started off by creating the color palette and I was super inspired um, now, as uh, a lot of you guys know, with my color blending brushes, you can create your own color palette simply by selecting over an area, creating a pattern, um, you know, with your selection. And then when you're using my special color blending brushes, whatever you sampled is going to come out of the brushes. But I actually created a little bit more sophisticated whenever um, color palette because whenever I do that, I'm obviously not just taking a screenshot of this and um, you know sharing that with you. Uh, I'm sampling different areas. I kind of build up the design, the color palette, and then I also adjust the um, hue brightness so that it looks really good whenever you um, brush with it, uh, use the brushes with it, and that it looks you know as intended because sometimes the photos can kind of dim down the colors a little bit. So I created a color palette and I actually have four variations of the, um, the multicolor design. And so I, but I'm going to show you, you can use these color palettes with any of my color blending brushes. And, um, I have tons of collections of them, but, uh, the first thing that I thought of absolutely, first of all, I'm just going to grab my pattern stamp tool here and my, I have my four color palettes here. And if you're not familiar with this color blending technique, don't worry, I'll link down below. So if you're, you know, your new follower or whatever, but one of the collections that I think this looks gorgeous with is my floral tool. So I'm just using this floral tool uh, brush here. And actually let's just pop over here. I just want to kind of give you an idea of how awesome and magic these brushes are. So I'm using one of my floral tool and I'm just using that color palette that I created. And how pretty is that with all of the colors blending and there's different versions of it. So, you know, it's, you can play around and find one that you like, but it's just gorgeous color blending magic. And what you can do is have some fun with that and then like layer some soft and hard brush strokes and you can just get some really really gorgeous effect and this is like one of my favorites that looks amazing so you can see just by a brush stroke you can just totally get the vibe of that outfit and we're not having to draw anything so it's super fun this collection if you haven't used it already is i love it and a multi-color floral like this is what this brush collection is built for. So I highly recommend that. And then also one of my, um, my romantic English garden brushes are a great collection to use this free color palettes with. So they have some really nice uh, floral kind of motifs and 
so I just think you can have a lot of fun and even like at the end of the English garden there's these brushes that are a little sparse but they're harsh but they look gorgeous like if you're um, layering them over the other brush strokes so you've got the four color palettes you can use them with any of your favorite brushes that I create the color blending brushes and it's a total vibe I think it looks really great on a dark background on this case I use like a dark pink kind of eggplanty um, I was kind of sampling from like the wine over there I think that looks really rich and I didn't forget about the new brushes so let's just demo those Okay, so when it came to the new brushes, um, I really liked this, you know, the, the soft kind of effect that I had already in my tool, uh, my floral tool brushes, but it's a really soft, most of them are really soft transitions and I kind of wanted to capture in a single brush stroke that boldness of those bold flower pops. So I took one of those brushes and adapted it a little bit and gave it a more of a, um, stronger brush tip and so you've kind of just got these nice bold uh, bold flower shapes and I think it works really good because it really kind of ties in with the feeling of that dress and it's not like something that I'm going to use on everything but for this theme and this you know vibe and everything I think it works perfect so there I think they're really good to like layer over um, another stroke or kind of have a little fun but you really get that um, those pops of flower that are very like a little literal but I think it's a really a really fun brush so I like that one and of course it's got you got all those cool multicolors coming out so I, I think it really correlates to the Taylor Swift look and then I have a subtler version of that same brush and um, in this one I brought out the texture of that tool so as you can see I'm using a light pressure the flowers are more subtle but you get that tool kind of feeling and I think that can also be really useful and really cool but it's a softer look so two versions of that brush and don't forget that you can um, mix and match color palettes and brushes with all my collection so you can use these color palettes with my modern impressionist brushes with my um, galaxy collection, with my couture fibers, with my, uh, gosh, everything. There's too many of them to mention, but I'll put some of my favorites down below. Definitely the English Garden, Artistic Autumn, the tie-dye. I mean, there's too many choices. So that is the brushes, that is the color palettes. And then next we're gonna go into the monogram and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do a really romantic floral monogram like you see here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create a monogram like this. And I'm not gonna worry about it being perfect, but just give you an overview how a couple brush strokes and you can be having a, a gorgeous monogram like this and you know, sell things or put it on a, I don't know, a, a mug or something like that. You know, a lot of different applications. So um, what I did was I just typed out in a font, I think this is like, okay, Playfair, Playfair Display Italic. And I just typed that out and now I'm going to command or um, control, I think if you're on a PC, and click on that text layer to make that selection. Because uh, I want some transparency so I'm not making a clipping mask. So I've made a new layer above that. And now I'm gonna take, with my pattern stamp tool selected, and one of my color palettes. I think I'm just gonna start this by, um, maybe I'll just put, kind of fill it in with this moody pal floral subtle, the subtle brush, so. And you know, leave a little space as I kind of like that you feel the shape of the, the letters, but it's not completely filled in. And so I just grabbed the subtle brush, and then maybe I'll grab one of my the brush number one from my foot floral tool collection and then just kind of fill in some of these areas and I'm not even changing my color palette so you know just kind of having some fun with that maybe I'll make a new layer maybe I'll grab the the floral bold one and kind of put some of the bold bold uh, colors in there kind of have a little fun with that 
and just, I mean, I make, and it's good, a good call to make each one on its own layer. So anyway, that's good enough. I'm not going to worry about it being perfect. Let's look back to this one. Okay. And then now I'm going to deselect and we've kind of got the basic shape. I might select, reselect. If you see your little, um, what do you call it? Uh, little serifs are like missing. It could look a little mm, not good. So I'm going to make sure that all those serifs down there are kind of filled in because we, we really want those for the shape of our words. So let's just kind of fill that in. Let's deselect. Okay, now you feel it better. We, we, we need those because you really want to, you want to have the important parts of the letter so you feel that. And then I'll just grab like the, the, the subtle brush and I'm just changing it back to the first color palette and maybe right bracket to turn it down a little bit and then just kind of, you know, uh, find some spots and you can add some little, uh, let's see here, some little kind of things like this little subtle little spots. I think that's cool. You could even go behind the, put a layer down below all the other layers and kind of have one popping out from behind too. That can be kind of fun. And, you know, use your pressure sensitivity if you have a pen, but that's enough. I'm not going to try to overdo it. And then I'll make a new layer and I'm going to grab the bold, bolder version of the brush. Maybe take the size down and maybe add a few more that are like with the bold, uh, flowers. And if I don't like the colors that come out, cause every time it's like a different color from that, that dress, I'll just undo it and then redo it again. But anyway, um, you can see this one I liked a little bit better, but, um, you can see, uh, the same idea. Let's just enlarge this a little bit or wait. And then, you know, you can have fun and do the corners like I did over here, kind of play a little bit. Um, what did I do? So pattern stamp tool selected. Maybe I will, you know what? I think I grabbed one of my modern impressionist brushes. Let's roll back. Let's close my brush works. Modern impressionist. There's like a nice, um, oh gosh, like a watercolor here. I'll grab 63 kind of has some fun. That's why it's like, you don't just have to use the new brushes, like play around with some of my other brushes and you can make some gorgeous, like watercolory strokes. It's very romantic. Um, and then maybe I'll go back to my, uh, my tool. This one, number seven is actually quite, this is a floral tool number seven. That's really gorgeous. It's kind of a watercolory kind of vibe too. So can play a little bit with that, make a new layer. Let's try number 10. So yeah, that's, that's pretty. Can I just have a little fun? You know, there's no right or wrong just play layer brush strokes. But as you can see, you, you need like no drawing talent for this and it's super creative. It's super beautiful. I'll just put some of the bold. There we go. Put some of the bold, uh, flowers there. So you, I'm pretty similar, but, uh, you get the idea. I'll have my demo files available on my Patreon as well as bonus things, but that's how easy it is um, to make a gorgeous little monogram. Like you see here, just a few brush strokes, playing around, layering it. And we're just using all of the, um, all of the technology of Photoshop to make our life, our creative life more fun. And as usual, I love getting inspired by fashion. So I just think it's, it's just so much fun. So I'm so happy to share that with you. So I'll have all of the information down below and the download information for this brush. And I'm going to have these, the free brush Monday, the brushes will be available for a limited time. Um, I'm thinking a week, but let me know, um, you know, if that works or whatever, but I think I'm going to do one every week. So I'll, I'll change the free brushes. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel, have some notifications on if that's your thing, because I definitely like to take care of my community. And this is just a way to say thank you because honestly, I've been feeling super overwhelmed with all of the support that I've got from my creative community. 
and it's been so awesome. So I want to make sure that I give back no matter what. And even if you can't afford to buy my brushes, I want to always have something there for you. And also make sure you sign up for my newsletter um, because I always, I always take care of my newsletter people. So um, that's a good thing. And let me know what you think, what you would like to see next for Free Brush Monday. And if you have any questions, I love to hear from you. So thanks so much.